Aloha, it's Paulina. Mike. From Off Grid Hawaii. And here we got little Eli. Eli, say hi. Hi Eli, good morning. So in this video we want to show you guys our newly updated shower. So I'm sure you've seen our last shower video, easy off-grid shower, we use the bucket. Well this time we have like an actual catchment system, a pump, and it's a lot better. So let's yeah. check it out. And we're even heating it with compost system, so that's cool. Yeah, it's even heated. Alright, we'll start from the beginning and then work our way to the shower. So the first thing that happens is the water lands on our tarp, our carport, and it goes down into a gutter that we got for a dollar at the transfer station. And then from there, it goes down this PVC pipe, two inch, and then into our catchment barrel. So this is our 55 gallon catchment barrel. Um, it's suspended here using ojillas. We bolted it into two dead trees. They had just newly died, so they're still pretty strong. I don't expect this to last forever, but at least long enough for us to get something else. <laughs> the next shower upgrade. <laughs> it should last long enough for us to build something more permanent. Yeah, and then I could walk down and get bought. Oh. Fine, but you keep it, because I can't one with it. <laughs> what? Put it in your pocket, baby. I know, but... Okay, you coming back? All right, see you later. Okay. So I was really hoping for this whole system to work just gravity fed. And it did work a little bit for the sink, but it wasn't very high pressure. And it didn't really work at all for the shower. So what I had to do was install a pump, which is a very small $20 pump that we got on Amazon. It's 12 volts. And um, some reviews are good about it, some aren't. So we're not going to recommend it yet, but we'll put a link so you can check it out if you want. And that is wired directly into our, our charge controller. So it's just 12 volt and it's plugged right in. What they recommended to do on the pump was to put the filter before the pump to um, filter out any small particles so that the pump doesn't get jammed up. So it goes, the water goes from the tank through the filter, then through this tubing into the pump. And from there it goes into our compost pile, which starts heating the water. Aloha. Aloha. A cheaper way to wire this was actually to get an extension cord. I was pricing wire at Home Depot and everything's way more expensive here. But uh, my friend Joe, which helped me build that whole thing back there, he mentioned, why don't you just get an extension cord? It's the same type of wire. I used a 16-2 wire and I actually was able to put a switch in it so that we could turn the pump on and off. So um, I've wired it into the Hi. charge controller. Hi. <laughs> Blooper reel. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, let's start again. So what I've done with the um, electrical cord is I cut it pretty much in half. I plugged. Uh, one end into the charge controller and then it left me with the two plug ends here which we just connect and then it wires through into the switch and then to the pump. So it was a little bit confusing on the first day. I didn't, I thought Paulina understood what I was doing. <laughs> so we have two cords down here that are power. This one is 120 volts high voltage and this one is 12 volts because it's plugged into the charge controller. So she plugged it into here, which I thought would have burnt the whole thing out, but our, uh, our inverter must have alarmed and it shut off. So it wasn't too big of a deal, but you don't want to plug 12 volts into 120. <laughs> oh, now I get it. Do you get it now, guys? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, so from the blue water tank, Eli's here to help me out too. So in the blue water Hi. tank, we have the PVC pipes connecting and they go into this compost heater number one. We have two of them. This is the first one. And inside of this heap of mulch, there is a black coil of, mm -hmm, of PVC pipe coiled around so that the mulch, as it breaks down, it creates a lot of heat and it heats up the water that's in that coil. So once it comes through there, it continues on through this pipe here. Get to the blanket compost pile. 
Yeah, so as Eli said, this is our second compost pile. And this pile is directly connected to the shower. And this one is not as big as we want to get it, but it still works pretty well because we mixed in grass clippings along with the county mulch. So it gets pretty hot. Um, the water that runs through here is still not hot water. It's just warm. Um, so it's like tolerable to take a shower, but it's definitely not like a hot shower. It's a warm shower or lukewarm, but it's still better than, you know, fresh cold rain. Are you guys ready for your shower? No. Let's turn it on! What? Turn it on! <laughs> Alright, so the water comes all the way up here through the pump and we get some nice pressure. Hopefully I don't get too wet. <laughs> and there's a the shower. Ooh, can I touch it? Yeah. Okay, I Fresh rainwater. Well, we can't lose it. Can't drink it though. I knew it. So this is our shower and it works pretty well for us right now. Yep. We just have this temporary oh. pallet here and it's pretty open. We're not we haven't enclosed it yet because we're still trying to figure out how to make it into a more permanent shower. So right now it's our temporary shower, but it works way better than our last shower. So we're pretty happy with it. And this was all Michael and Joe's job. So thanks. <laughs> All right, so right here, this Lilikoi wall is our privacy wall for our shower right now. And if you saw, we made a video about last year about how we created this wall. It still needs about a year more of growth in, in order to completely cover it and shield us from the view of our neighbors, which are right over there. Um, but it works pretty well. I think I don't think they get a view of us here unless they like are up against our fence, which they're not. So. It works for us right now, and we might switch the shower so that it's actually coming out of this tree trunk, which might make it look cooler. So all the footage you just saw was filmed about two weeks ago. We've been a little slow editing. My family just left two, two days ago, so I'm finally able to sit down and edit the footage. But um, during the filming of that video, we asked our Instagram followers what they wanted to know about our shower and we got a really good question from Gypsy Mama 84 and she asks could you go over temperature control and how long a shower you can take also where does the drainage going do you use eco-friendly soap so those are all good questions and we didn't cover that in the video so I'll do it right now the first thing is we don't actually have a temperature control so however hot that it comes out is how hot you're gonna take a shower so hopefully it doesn't get too hot um, and we get burned but I don't think that'll happen other thing how long of a shower can you take now I'm assuming that's like how long does the hot water last um, and it really doesn't last that long I think if we get another shower head like a, a real one like um, an energy star efficient shower head I think it would last longer but for now the hot water, like the really nice hot water, is only lasting like three to four minutes. And then after that, it's kind of warm. The drainage, it actually just drains right into the ground, um, right there. And the soap we use, we I don't actually use soap for my body, but I use um, shampoo and conditioner for my hair and I use this here and Paulina uses this soap here it's called Dr. Bronner's and it's the lavender scent so thank you for that question Gypsy Mama um, in future videos I'm gonna be doing the same thing asking Instagram followers I think we were on a live stream that day, so it was pretty fun uh, talking with everybody and showing them around. So look out for that in the future. If you don't follow us on Instagram, um, we're offgridhi. You can check us out, and hopefully we'll do another live stream. That was pretty fun. So a couple other things since then, since it's been two weeks, there are actually some upgrades on the uh, system. I've doubled the size 
actually more than doubled the size of the compost pile and I mixed a lot of grass in there and the water is actually really warm. Paulina in the in the video said it's yeah, kind of warm but it's actually it's like a good shower now it's good temperature. The chickens have been tearing apart the compost pile though as you can see right here. Shoot. The first compost pile we're actually in the middle of taking it apart and one bonus to this system is that you're actually making like really good soil when you do this making the compost pile and every three four months I expect that we'll have to like take it apart and redo it but that just gives us all this soil to add to like garden beds or make new ones so that's a really cool bonus of this method another thing I've done instead of using the plug to plug it in I've hooked it to a switch um, that way you just turn this on when you want to turn the pump on when like at night or when we leave we just shut it off so that it's, there's no pressure in it and that goes right outside um, I drill the hole down through the container and it goes right outside one of the first holes I've drilled in the container actually I think the first one all right now back to two weeks ago yeah it will video. video well a live video, video. Bye. That's it for this video. Subscribe, like, and share if you like this video, and we'll see you next time. Yeah, bye! bye. <laughs> What's that green toy over here, Yeah, that's <laughs> so cute. No, no, no. We need a thumbnail. No, no, no. 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 Well, it's raining anyway, guys. It's no big deal. <laughs>